Hello my friends, this time I will make the smallest biggest press ever made, I didn't see so small press, it will press the small briquettes the size of the pellets, so it can be used, instead of buying the pellets you can press this and use instead of pellets. So. I already made the pistons, you can see there are six of them. Now I cut the plate, drill holes, attach this piston and on the other side you can see I weld every piston here so it can fit into this chamber. This is the sixth chamber, you can see I already made the handle so I can press manually very easily. This is the top cover. That will go. It will go here, just like so. And on the other side, I will weld this hinge so I can open and close. And this is the plate where you will stand on, so the press cannot move. Also, this press is portable. You can push it together and put it in some place it will not, not take uh, lots of space it is very portable and easy to make so what I need to do now is put all together weld the hinge on that plate and the press will be ready so I will do that weld this hinge and we will start pressing the smallest briquettes. So the press is now ready. You can see it. So you can take it anywhere and put it anywhere. Now what I have to do, I have to paint it. You see how it looks. So now I will paint it and after that I will press a few briquettes so you can see. These briquettes will be small and thin and when they dry they will be great for barbecue. So let's paint it this. So the press is ready now, painted in yellow, so let's fill it up. Now you don't have to expect much of this, as I said, these, uh, these are very thin and round briquettes. They are size of the two pellets together, but for barbecue they will be perfect, so let's fill it. There you go. Small size briquettes, great for barbecue and the smallest press. I didn't see 
the smallest press as this one is. So these are great for the barbecue. So you can see, you can make lots of them. They are better than the coal most of people use and you can make plenty of them stack them in the back and when you have a barbecue use them now I use these two wooden blocks so these are the wooden blocks I use to put on the side now this is slightly bigger so the these small briquettes will be also bigger so let's make them like that one. Remove the blocks. Compared to this one, you can see this one is much thicker. So, as I said, small briquettes, small express, great for barbecue, different sizes, and you can make lots of them. Dry on the sun and use whatever you need. You can even put in your stove at winter if you make lots of them. So, maybe sometimes, in the next time, I will put automatic, uh, I will put DC motor underneath with the screw, so it will go up and down automatically. So I will speed up this process. But for that, nicely done. Cool, briquettes, different sizes, and hope you like it. That's it. I have never seen the smallest bricket press as this one. So this can be alternative for the pellets. So thanks for watching. Greetings to you. Bye.